hello all this is a digital ic trainer kit right on this kit we are have nine experiments in a digital design lab right this kit has some various components let me come back one by one uh, to start with uh, there will be a plug provided with the this digital ic trainer kit this will be connected to the power point supply and as and when you connect connect to the power point supply and use this power button the power will enter the digital trainer kit this is on and off this is on and off right <coughs> first and uh, first and before doing any experiment first you need to check whether the power is getting inside this kit so you just cross verify whether this is on so this is called as power on button likewise we have some more things like here there are <coughs> the blue this is called as the green thing is called as ic placeholder ic will look something like this ic is nothing but integrated chip or integrated circuit i see is nothing but integrated chip or integrated circuit and when you want to uh, because most of the experiments in almost all the experiments will be using this ic integrated circuits or integrated chips this is called as this ic has to be placed in this ic place holder the green colored one and by doing this you can lock and unlock the ic i'll come back to it how to see check the operation of every ic okay this is the ic uh, place holder likewise you can connect one, depending upon the complexity of the circuit 1 2 3 4 we have four ic holders like place holders of ic and uh, because this is a this is a 16 pin ic this is a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 there are 14 pins here but maximum you can connect to in this with the ic we can connect a 16 pin ic this is a simple and gate integrated chip that is and gate ic right this has 14 pins when you connect the 14 pins you need to have 14 pin slot in the ic place holder ic place holder but here you it is providing as 16 so you no problem for 14 can be accommodated in 16 so these are the ic place holders and there are two more sections called as output indicators that is uh, that is shown in the red no no nozzle and <coughs> black colored ones are inputs here you can provide the input and you can check the output here even though there it is been numbered from 1 to 10 don't it's not mandatory that one should go to one here two should go to two here nothing whatever you give from here this will act as an input this will act as an input this will act, output will be seen in the red indicators input is logic input switches output indicators and you have and this we are not using like seven segment display as of now don't worry about this this is called as breadboard and here breadboard and these two we are not using that is the breadboard and the seven segment display this two you are it's not required for the, the third semester dd lab course and we have frequency to set this will come back to it later how to how to set the frequency of 10 kilohertz 20 kilohertz and all this will come back to it later okay this is one ic let us see operation i mean here it is a 14 pin ic always remember ic whenever you hold kela gaidi mel tarbadi okay uh, ic when you hold like this right there will be a small bubble on top of it right that indicate that is the head of the ic and whenever you take an ic you have to keep it in the ic place holder you can use anything you can use anything this i am only testing the ic place holder and once you place you can have to lock it so that it will not come out of it once you keep the ic like this you have to lock it so that it is locked so it will not come out see here there are 16 pins here but in ic there are only 14 pins 14 pins have been connected here rest of the two are left empty because it's only 14 pin ic there are some ic's which are 16 pin ic's right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now what was 8 here will not become 8 8 will be 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so it it's like this 7 after 7 you will get it here 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 after 7 you should not go to 8 here you have to go to right hand side if i am connecting 16 pin ic then as usual counting begins right and there are some uh, some other special pins i'll come back to it this is called as patch cord this is called as patch cord right through this we can have a connection through this we can have a connection okay now when I